Today's video is going to be the showdown of military can openers. It's going to be a select few. The Swiss Army knife, which is a lot of folks are familiar with, the U.S. military P-38, and the P-51. Now, if you're in your kitchen today, you probably have a fancy can opener, maybe even an electric can opener. But if you're out in the field, or if you want to carry something in your go bag, or in your glove box, you probably got one of these. Swiss Army knife, which is probably the first multi-tool that most folks in the U.S. are familiar with, usually has at least a knife blade, corkscrew, toothpick, can opener and bottle opener. This happens to have a small um, screwdriver flat end tip too. P38, it's good for opening cans. It also works as a box cutter, letter opener, twine cutter. The P51 is basically an enlarged version. Uh, once again, great for can openers, but there you go, it's a little bit bigger. Canned food. Canned food is as important to the civilian market as it was for very many years to the military market. Uh, 1795, Napoleon uh, featured a, a contest. Whoever could come up with a method for long-term storage uh, in a, a portable container that wasn't going to be fragile, uh, he put out a reward of 12,000 French francs. The award was won, and by 1810 in the United States, canned food was being processed uh, at a pretty large commercial scale. Uh, the, the strange thing about it is that uh, at 1810, it was pretty expensive. It wasn't a middle-class sort of delight, but for folks who uh, wanted green beans, it tasted relatively fresh in the middle of winter when there were no green beans. It was, it was kind of nice to uh, be able to just dig into a can or maybe a can of uh, sardines or a can of meat, a can of uh, preserved fruit. Strangely, this, the technology that went into the uh, tin-plated iron can was very common by 1810, but the first patented can opener wasn't, uh, wasn't done in the U.S. until 1870. So there was about a 60-year period of time that people were bashing these open with uh, hatchets. Uh, soldiers were opening them with bayonets and anything else that they could pry the uh, top open with. One thing that canned food allows that something like dried beans wouldn't allow uh, um, for folks in a military setting toting, uh, toting stuff over rough terrain is that anything cooked in a can is going to be relatively moist. It's cooked with moisture that displaces all the air in the can. Uh, it, it, uh, by having no extra air, you don't have oxidation. Also, the can uh, of the goods are cooked. So when you open them up, if they're not hot, you can eat them cold and they're safe. If you do want to heat them up, you can either pour them into a pan or a pot, or once you open the can up so it doesn't create a pressure situation, you can put the pan right down in a hot area near the fire and use the can as your pot. Um, works just fine. So here's the here's the test that we're going to do the showdown today. We're going to take a look at the Swiss Army knife can opener, the P38 and the P51, and see which one seems to be the most efficient and the quickest to open three similar size cans. I'm using beans in all three cases here. Uh, a little background: the Swiss Army knife. That can opener's been around since 1891. Um, similar knife designs have been adopted throughout Europe. The Americans really weren't familiar with this uh, much until the end of World War II. As the Americans went into uh, the Second World War, they went in in a big way. Uh, the P-38 was designed for K-rations of World War II. Uh, P-38 looks like it uh, was adopted in 1942, so that would be a year into the war after Pearl Harbor. And uh, it was included a few can openers to a case of rations. By the end of the war, pretty much there was a, a P-38 pretty much with every meal. Um, these were bought in bulk, and I mean millions and millions. Uh, stainless steel with a folding blade and a small hole that you could stick on your uh, chain around your neck with your 
dog tags, and uh, folks carried them everywhere they went. And uh, guys who served in the military will swear by them. Uh, later, yeah, the P-51 was developed, and it was developed for uh, tray packs or bulk meals of 16 servings in a can. Uh, the the P-51 came about in 1951, so this is something that was pretty common through the uh, war in Korea, up through Vietnam, and uh, even into the 1970s. The, the P-38 was produced, produced in such a large quantity that uh, the U.S. was going with the low bidders on it, and it was down to a penny a unit by the time that it was uh, actually uh, at full production during World War II. Take a look at the Swiss Army Knife can opener uh, first. I will say that I don't use any of these on a real regular basis, so it's going to be about an apples-to-apples -apples comparison. I'm not really quick with any one of them. Uh, like I said, this goes back to 1891. It's a slightly modified design since then, but the uh, Swiss Army Knives Victorinox usually is making everything with stainless steel. Uh, these are also stainless steel. I did run this through a dishwasher, and you can see some light rust on it, so there are different uh, qualities of rust resistance in stainless steels. So the thing we're going to do here is just open a can, uh, take a, t a timing reading, and see how long it takes to open it. So uh, we'll start off with our green beans, and here we go. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna call this done because what we want to do is leave the lid attached. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for this. Number one, we're going to drain these beans, and we're not wasting any food today. We're going to uh, at the end of this demonstration, we're gonna mix everything up and make a, a quick uh, demonstration recipe of a three bean salad. You just it's real easy. You, you you put all the things together, you let it chill in the fridge for at least about six hours, and you're ready to go. Uh, another thing is that once this top is open. There's not going to be any um, pressure develop. If you put this down into a fire, it can simmer pretty safely. While the can has a lot of thermal mass with the water and the food that's in it, um, the, the lid is relatively thin and it doesn't hold a lot of heat. It won't get real hot or stay real hot. So it's easy to pick it up even if the contents are warm. There's the uh, famous P-38. Very famous. Uh, anybody who's been in the U.S. military back 20 years or more ago uh, is familiar with this. This was uh, pretty much done away with in about 1980 when the U.S. went from K rations to C rations and then from C rations to MREs. Food in MREs was no longer in cans. It was packed usually in uh, a pouch or it was a vacuum sealed between a couple layers of, uh, of plastic and, and possibly foil. This one's upside down and I'll show you why. Most cans over the years, they've had just a, a top and a bottom that looked about like that. Uh, modern cans often have a pull tab, and it, that negates the need for a uh, can opener. But, as you can see, I've got a green bean, a wax bean, and a kidney bean, and two of the three still need can openers. So, we're going to go with the bottom, and we're going to go apples to apples here. And here's our P38, and let's see how we do with this. And I'll count from the first cut. There's a lot of different theories about the name P38. Some people will tell you that it takes on average 38 cuts to open a can. Uh, I haven't found that, but there's no solid, in the research I did, there's no really good solid reason other than it's just called a P38. So.
when you use these in the field usually you're not going to be in a big hurry um, it's, it's not as fast as an electric can opener but if you're at home and your electricity goes out having a P38 as a backup is not a bad thing Oh, there we go, a little user error. And we're gonna call go ahead and call that open. It's open enough to be able to do what we need to do. You can see. It's a little sharp too. Next up is the uh, P51. I want to give you a little size comparison here. The uh, P38 is about an inch and long in length. The P51 is two inches, and those dimensions sort of just scale across the uh, the rest of the size. You can look at the size of the cutting blade on on each, and the uh, the P51 was designed for a much bigger can, a bigger. Uh, number of rations in a can so as you uh, push it along it's making more of a cut each time so probably going to go a little bit faster on this can of wax beans uh, let's see the the wound is all bandaged up and we will see if we can do this with a little bit less uh, blood involved so here we go and I don't know if you can tell but this is really digging in a lot faster. And we're going to call that done. And there is our can with our P51 as the cutter. Uh, I will say that um, earlier we mentioned that the P38s were a penny a piece in World War II. Well, you know, things have changed since then. Uh, the P38 and the P51 are still available um, online here in the U.S. I purchased the P38 for 69 cents and the P51 for 99 cents. Um, you'll notice on these videos we're here in the States. Uh, most of my measurements are going to be English measurements. They'll be uh, feet, inches, um, liquid ounces, and uh, pounds. Um, I usually don't translate into metric. And, um, but if you're watching YouTube, um, you know, you're, you're probably, <laughs> you've got Google. You can uh, punch numbers in and get a good translation without much trouble. So the, uh, the next part is draining the cans. I'm going to do that um, off camera and then I will uh, show you how to make a three bean salad and hey uh, you know one thing this channel is going to do is we're going to look at uh, technology usually older technology like these we're going to look at things for um, enjoying doing outside activities but also inside activities I mean uh, take a take a just a a quick second to think you don't have any power you don't have any heat but you got a you got a can opener and you've got these, you've got something to eat. Um, you know, high tech is great if you've got electricity and if you've got Wi-Fi connectability and things like that. Sometimes you got to go with low tech. A lot of things on this channel are going to involve um, outdoor activities such as um, fishing, target shooting, uh, work with um, with knives as tools for processing wood and processing food. Um, but we're also going to do some inside things and we're going to do some things on the grill. And uh, who knows, a little bit of everything, a little variety. So here we go with mixing up the three bean salad. So moving on to the three bean salad recipe. And this is quick and easy. Uh, basically, these were drained. I just held the lid down, turned them upside down until the water was gone. You want to get the water out because you're going to marinate this in one cup of... Oh, shoot covered part of the name, uh, Italian dressing. Use a full fat, in other, in other words, uh, full oil Italian dressing, the oil with the vinegar, 
and the seasonings gives you really good flavoring uh, creates a great marinade so it's very simple can of wax beans and guess what these cans recycle endless times that's a great thing about steel um, we've got about a quarter cup of chopped uh, onions these are just sweet onions Vidalia onions adds a little, uh, little extra flavor cup of kidney beans you can use dark red light red I'm going to rinse that out before I send it to the folks at recycling and then a can of green beans pour yourself a cup of dressing over it now I didn't mention but I like to use a, uh, a non-reactive uh, vessel to hold these and let them marinate I don't use metal. Um, usually, want to use glass or ceramic. You could use plastic if you want, but uh, the glass has got a better uh, thermal characteristic to where it chills more quickly and it will uh, keep the beans cooler. If you're going to do something like uh, somebody goes, "Hey, we got uh, we got something coming up where you know we're going to do a a deal. Bring yourself a covered dish. Everybody brings something. You know, we're going to cook something on the grill and then." If you bring a side dish, go ahead and do that. Um, here's the nice thing about something that's a heavy ceramic or glass. Number one, if it's a, a warm season sort of event that you've got, <clears throat> this is going to stay cool. If the beans are cold, refrigerator cold, this is going to stay cool for a while. Um, if you've got a lid like this, and there's any flying insects around, put that on, take it off. It keeps the bugs from getting in there and messing with stuff. And three bean salad is incredibly easy to make. Um, it's not really inexpensive if you, if you buy it pre-made at the store, but if you just get a couple of cans of beans, it's, it's very inexpensive to make. And you take this and, you know, you say, hey, I made it myself. It looks like you really did something, but it's simple. I mean, darn simple. So uh, if you like the video and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. If you like it and you don't want to subscribe because you don't want to get notifications, but you just like it, please hit like. If you have any comments, uh, suggestions, questions, put it in the comments section. Although you might notice the brand name on some of these products I'm using, everything on these videos is bought and paid for by us, this channel, uh, Two Riders. Uh, we, we don't have any sponsors currently. Uh, down the road, if somebody would, want to sponsor us or send us something for a review or trial uh, either put it in the comments or you can uh, check out uh, my email address on the um, on the site and we will be happy to do an unbiased review but we're kind of looking at things like uh, consumer reports looks at things we're not uh, I'm not going to be hawking a brand of shoes for somebody uh, I'll look at it I'll test it I'll give a, an opinion on it and uh, you can agree, you can disagree, but we're not a uh, we're not a paid uh, influencer or sponsor or something like that. So, happy eating, happy uh, opening with you know these. I'm sure that there are other openers throughout the world that uh, that people are using on a constant basis, but here in the U.S., these are just kind of three of the classics. Thanks again for watching and tune in again, please.